Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex Cuff and this is Off The Cuff. Today, I'm trying something new. Um, it is currently September 14th, 2017, and a couple of hours ago, uh, a brand new Nintendo Direct presentation was released. I'm freaking excited about this. We haven't had a Direct since, well, E3 basically. Um, and I'm looking forward to a lot of uh, new announcements in this. Um, there's, there's definitely going to be things about the Switch and the 3DS. I haven't got a Switch, I've got a 3DS. Um, I've got no idea what to expect. I've So yeah, I, this is a couple of hours after the Direct, so I've seen uh, thumbnails for short... Uh, how to explain? All I can say at this point, from what I've seen, is there's definitely going to be Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon content, which I was expecting anyway, so it's not that big of a spoiler. Uh, but yeah, reaction video, this is a new thing. Um, well, it's not entirely a new thing. One of the first videos I uploaded to the channel as it currently is was a reaction to the final Super Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U presentation. Um, and that got more views than any other video I've put out. So, theoretically, this video should get a lot of views too. In which case, if you're coming here for the reaction, make sure you subscribe because I've got a whole bunch of content. I can't say it's not content. You might like it, you might not, but subscribe anyway, because I could use it. Um, but yeah, I'm only ever, if I'm ever, if I'm, only, if I'm, oh, Jesus, yeah, subscribe for this. Um, <laughs> um, I lost my train of thought. I'm really making a good case for myself here. No, um, reaction videos, that was it. Um, I've toyed in the past about doing more reaction videos. Not just for Nintendo stuff. This, these are probably, but these are probably the only videos I'm going to do reaction videos to. I've talked in the past about doing some reaction videos for the shows I like to watch and even new shows I want to get into. Uh, but the problem about, excuse me, the problem about that is I don't want watching my favorite shows and watching new shows to become work. That's the thing. So these are the only videos I'm going to react to: the Nintendo Direct presentations and maybe some other, you know, things like this in the future. And these are going to be few and far between. Uh, because I don't want to, I, I don't have time to record, I don't have a lot of time in the house alone, basically. Um, but I've stalled long enough, <laughs> let's get into this. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit that play button, I'm gonna hit the play button, I might do like a little edit thing to try and sync this up, but in any case, we're starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, play. Okay, it is playing, so we're off to a good start. Nintendo! What do you got for me? Hi. Hi everyone. And welcome to Nintendo Direct. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi from Nintendo. Nice to meet you. And I'll be your guide. Today, I have news about what's in store for Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. We'll spotlight four of these titles in their own segments, and others will be featured in a series of headlines. Oh, okay. We'll begin with Nintendo 3DS for our first spotlight title of the day. Pokemon? Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm looking forward to this. Ooh. Pikachu! Ah, the hat Pikachu! Oh, the starters! Oh my god! Rowlet's my favorite. Oh, that's new. Oh, the Pikachu! Oh, hang on, what? Oh, that's from the old game, right. Oh, jeez, Necrozma! Solgo- Oh, no, not Solgo later! No! I know about the Necrozma forms already, Pokemon so... Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon news has appeared, and you can catch it in four parts. Ooh, okay. Necrozma, yeah, I thought so. As you just saw in the trailer, the legendary Pokemon that steals light, Necrozma, has transformed into two new forms. <laughs> Dusk Main Necrozma, Dusk took over Sol Galeo, and Dawn Wings Necrozma, Dawn Wings, okay. who took over Lunala. They, they look really cool. A brand new showdown awaits. A showdown. Alright, part two. New, yeah, that's what I thought, new areas. In addition to new Ooh. map areas, like a beach where surfers gather, a valley of Pikachu, and other facilities, the main characters have stylish new looks. Yep. On top of that, there are new clothing items and oh, other good. surprises to look out for. Other surprises. Oh, look at those executors! 
Is that the trial side? Looks like the way you encounter your first partner Pokemon will be different too. Uh, yeah, I thought so. Oh, here we go. Yep, I, I did hear about this. The uh, Lichen Rock. Early, you can get a Zed move. Rock Ruff who will evolve into Dust Form Lichen Rock. Yep, I'm getting that. Somehow, this Rock Ruff can perform a special move that this Pokemon usually can't learn. Also, if you purchase and download the digital version before oh. January 10th, you'll receive 12 Quick Balls. Man! Don't make, don't give digital exclusives. On September 22nd, the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console titles, Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon yep. Silver version. Probably not gonna get those. If you purchase like. either one, you can receive the mythical Pokemon Celebi as a bonus in Pokemon Sun, Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun, or Pokemon Ultra Moon. Well, now I have to get it. Pokemon now I have to get it. <laughs> Damn it! Why would you do these things? After today's Nintendo Direct. Don't do this to me. Okay, part four. Oh! So, unknown Ultra Whoa! Code name UB Burst and UB Assembly will make their debut. I thought there'd be new Ultra Beasts. With UB Burst in Pokemon Ultra Sun and UB Assembly in Pokemon Ultra Moon. <laughs> Well, now I have to get both games. So please follow our coverage to see these Ultra Beasts in action. Oh, they look really cool. The Pokemon Ultra I called it. I called it there'd be new Ultra Beasts. November 17th. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. It goes without saying, doesn't it? New Nintendo 2DS XL system will release two weeks prior on November 3rd. I do need a new 3DS. And, uh... All right. Time to run through some headlines. That might be something I'd consider getting. All right, well, here we go. Every he ah. and ha ha of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga has been remade. I see Layton. I see Layton. Which means it's time to take back Princess Peach's stolen voice from Cacletta all over again. Oh, it's a remake, all is it? Mode Minions Quest: The Search for Bowser. You'll go behind the scenes of Mario and Luigi's adventure to learn the somewhat heroic tale of Bowser's minions. Okay. The classic story mode also has new stamp sheets. Tap compatible amiibo figures to stamp them. I don't play the Mario and Luigi games. You can also tap the Boo amiibo figure or the new Goomba and Koopa Troopa figures to get two additional stamp sheets that offer up items in both modes of the game. The more stamps you have, the more equipment and items you'll earn. Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Okay, so it's Bowser's minions laughs its way to Nintendo. Is it a remake? System I'm not sure. Six. The new Goomba and Koopa Troopa amiibo launched that same day. Kirby is about to enter a tournament against his toughest rival yet, himself. Oh, new Kirby game. Hang on. I'm gonna look at this. Royale offers a variety of ways to fight. In battle arena mode, oh. battles until the last Kirby standing wins. In or express mode, you hoard treasure until the fastest Kirby wins. And he's just getting started. Oh. Fight to the best of your abilities and prove you're the one Kirby to rule them all. Is this in the style of that free-to-play Kirby a game? Player story mode too, not to mention regional online battles. Or is it a proper Kirby game? I forget what the free-to-play Kirby Battle game is called. Battle Royale will fight its way here January 19th, 2018. Not sure. By the way, we're holding a poll to celebrate Kirby's 25th anniversary. Oh! The world's favorite copy ability. If you're interested, head to kirby.nintendo.com slash 25 years! Details. Didn't know that. If you missed out on the original Yo-Kai okay, Watch launch game, you passed up one of the biggest smash hits in Japan of the last 10 years. But now's a great chance to jump into the series with the ultimate version of Yo-Kai Watch 2, including all new content. I've got like five different Yo-Kai Watch 2s at this point. Yo-Kai Watch 2, you'll be able to download a free Oni Evolution software update tomorrow. Oni Plays? Adds in new I'm features, sorry. Such as the opportunity to befriend S-Rank Jibanya. Jibanya on S! Or S-Rank Komasa and new boss battles in an improved blasters mode. Plus, you'll have the ability to transfer data to the new game, so you can pick up where you're left off when the ultimate entry in the series, Yokai Watch 2 Psychic Spectre, wow. launches it comes out pretty soon. There's, there's so many games I haven't played that I should... Catherine okay, Layton this is the one I'm interested in. Professor Layton is on the case, and luckily some things run in the family. In the seventh main installment of the Layton series, search for clues, help out townspeople, such a scoffin, he's back! Ooh! Save the day. Try on an exclusive Flora costume. A Flora costume! The Nintendo 3DS version of the game. Wow, they're really- Either the day she opens her detective agency. Layton's mystery journey. Catriel and the millionaire's conspiracy. I'm still not sure how I feel about this, because Herschel Layton isn't in the game. 
Nintendo fans will I'm have gonna get it, to play but I'm not gonna, like, Coming to new get it at launch, probably. No, uh, don't... Play in survival? Or creative modes? Never been a fan of Minecraft. Use the included five skin packs and the two texture packs to customize your game. Your inventory... Why would you want Minecraft on the 3DS anyway? ...on the touchscreen. And you can choose between buttons or touch controls. Minecraft, I guess, but isn't Nintendo that 3DS edition tiny screen for Minecraft? Is that really... Nintendo eShop, right after this presentation. The packaged version will launch at a later date. Fine. For years, the Mario Party series brought us together around our home consoles, ever since the original launch on Nintendo 64. We partied like it was 1999, because it was. And now... The best mini games from all 10 home console titles are going portable on Nintendo 3DS. We've curated the top 100 mini games, the most ever in a single Mario Party title, to create the best one yet. The game okay. supports download play for up to four people, so with just one game card, any of your friends with a Nintendo 3DS family uh, system can join in too. I reckon that's some of these. All the mischief, magic, and memories the series so is it just a minigame collection or is there a the is it a proper Mario Party game as well? As in the style of the first eight, not the in latest two. Days, Metroid, uh, Samus my Returns, friend's really excited about this. Nintendo Metroid. DS. And everyone from Metroid fans to Super Smash Brothers fans should take notice. This meticulously crafted side-scrolling adventure contains immersive 3D visuals. Atmospheric exploration-based yeah. gameplay, versatile weaponry, powerful new abilities, and some truly wicked bosses. Ooh. Who or what will you encounter on this deadly planet? Vengeance has a name. And his name is Ridley? Yeah. Metroid Samus Returns is scheduled for... There's no way Ridley's not in this game, but it's like two days from now. <laughs> Atlas always has something good in the works for RPG fans. Nine characters' paths will converge and the Alliance alive in an all-new old-school RPG from Atlas, heading to Nintendo 3DS systems in early 2018. We can also confirm that the handheld will play home to Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey Redux, with all of its new content and enhanced graphics. Another Nintendo DS cult what? classic all the Atlas games on Nintendo 3DS systems in the form of Radiant Historia, Perfect Chronology. The gorgeous launch edition will include a collector's box with an art book and decal sheet. While you're at it, don't forget to check Nintendo eShop for something so else they said that, that um, today. four games would get the special spotlights. Odyssey 5 Beyond the Myth demo. Pokemon is one. Mario Odyssey is definitely another. Two new titles from beloved series are almost here. Uncover the mysterious yes! of everyone's favorite lawyer in Apollo Justice Ace. Oh, I'm so happy! And soon, the bonds between heroes Apollo and Justice and is finally coming to 3DS. Yes, that is, I've played all the main series Ace Attorney games, but Apollo Justice is the one I don't own. And now I can actually physically have it, and that is great! Yes! TDS XL, and it'll be here before yep. you know it on October 6th. All right, okay. Oh, I'm, oh, I didn't expect Apollo Justice. I'm so happy about that. Headlines. Nice. Now, let's move on to Nintendo Switch by kicking things off with a trailer for our next Spotlight title. Okay, is it Mario? Chronicles 2. Please take a look. Xenoblade 2. This is Al rest. Al rest. All rest. A world covered in a sea of clouds. Many giant life forms called Titans live in this cloud sea. See, no place in other series I still really have to play. ...and lives on top of these creatures. In the middle of this world stands the World Tree. And it's said that at the top of it lies Elysium. Elysium. An idyllic land of plenty. Many great powers rule over regions of Ores. The Kingdom of Uriah is one of them. Its territory contained within their titan. The Orions deeply respect nature, boasting advanced biotechnology. For now, we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. Their rival, the militaristic empire of Morag. It's the Fire Nation. It's just the Fire Nation. Controlling titans through mechanical means. Oh. They bring heavy armaments to bear. Oh. Other lands in a bid to save their own from ruin and depletion. I doubt he would have been stopped, even by an army 5,000 strong. This is on Switch? The imperial province of Gormak. A plentiful land, now fallen under Ardanian control. And the Indoline Praetorium, 
whose people revered and worshipped the Titans. Indol controls the supply of core crystals, which blades are born of. And so despite the theocracy, they hold much influence over the world's military affairs. Next, the Argentum trade. We're going through all the factions here. Consortium the traders, they do well for themselves by deftly navigating the strained relations between other nations and exploiting wartime demand. <laughs> and last but not least, Torna. Maybe this is the final action. Secret operations under the Cloud Sea to achieve their mysterious goals. Before long. This world will fall into turmoil over efforts to find the legendary blade, the Aegis. Ah. That is precisely the kind of scenario that I mean to prevent. Hand her over to a grown-up. The Aegis must That was an Australian voice. Destroyed. Then I shall Aegis too and make mountains of cash. I'm guessing your goal is Elysium. That is our dream! Who will find the Aegis? Who will make it to Elysium? Only time will tell. Okay, the thing that the thing that confuses me, it's two. So it's a sequel to the original Xenoblade Chronicles. Welcome to all rest. The world of Xenoblade Unlike Xenoblade Chronicles, Chronicles Cross, Cross, which was a spin-off. Oh yes, that's me right there. Hi, but it doesn't look like any of the characters from the original are in this. I haven't played the original, but I, I, is the protagonist of our story. I can't see Shulk, basically. I suppose you could say I'm his landlord. Hi, again. And his guardian too. And is, is this the player character then? Cramps. You may call me the same. Rex used to work as a salvager. Is this just the last guardian? Resources from beneath the cloud sea. Until one day, he met a girl named Pyra. Pyra. And the two set off on a quest to deliver her safely to Elysium. Can you believe he accepted such a lofty job just to impress a girl? Yes. Oh yes, and this is also me. Utterly adorable, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I don't know. You too will embark on a journey across the Titan's backs. Each Titan fosters a unique scenery, very different from its neighbors. Some have big open fields, while oh. others boast huge caverns set deep within the Man, Titan's why does this game have to look so good? We Titans are living beings, each with our own quirks, which you must learn to navigate. Of course, you'll also cross paths with many a dangerous creature on these Titans. It's their home too, but it's sadly inevitable that we butt heads from time to time. Those who fight together with synthetic life forms called blades, like Rex does, are known as drivers. When drivers do battle, their weapons and powers are granted to them by blades, such as Pyra, for example. Up to three drivers and three blades can work together at any time. Okay. As you continue attacking with your normal weapons, you constantly work toward charging up your driver arts. These special abilities run the gamut, with some allowing you to inflict extra damage depending on your position. Okay. While other, more arcane arts can cause HP potions to appear. Just use them wisely and watch closely the tide of battle. So this voice is just... I, I can't... Blade it's the titan, but it's also a cat thing. Arts to increase the power of their attacks, their accuracy, and the like. I don't know. I don't know. That way, the this game. This game. Playing a more active role in the battlefield. <coughs> Just wait till you encounter some tougher opposition. Things won't always go your way, so it's important to learn the benefits of switching blades. Oh, excuse me. By using items called core crystals. Divers can awaken new blades. This is known as resonance. You aren't limited to just one. A single driver can bond with multiple blades. The weapons and arts available to you depend on the blades with which you bond. And you never know what kind of blade you'll get until you awaken them. Sometimes you may muster up some very special ones. 
Looks like you hit the jackpot this time. Oh, you can pick up the looks like you hit the jackpot video. this time. <laughs> With each blade being either an attacker type, defender type, or a healer type, it's important to switch blades and tactics in step with your situation. Wow, this is, this is a really tactical RPG then. Like I always say, there's no better game plan than using the right blade for the job at hand. As a well, why do I keep yawning? I'm not tired. You should always stay abreast I'm not bored either. Your party members are using and strategize accordingly. By using your arts, you'll fill up your blade's special gauge. When you finally activate one of these specials, the driver will return the weapon to its blade. Yes, this music is definitely seen on blade. To deliver a devastating attack. Blade specials have four levels of intensity, and I must say, levels three and four are a bit too wild for my taste. So, what do you think? Jesus! One day you may work your way up to being a great driver yourself. Incineration. But consider this a sneak peek. You can combine arts into something more and really turn the tide. And now, it's stop yawning! God damn! Your journey through the clouds begins when Xenoblade Chronicles 2 launches on Nintendo Switch December the first. The oh, world of all rest this is year. For you. Didn't expect that. Then again, it does look very complete. Alongside so. the regular version, we will be offering a special edition, including a sound ah. selection CD, a right. special metal game case, and a 220-page hardbound art book. Eh. You can also I mean, those are good if you want them, them, but for me, just the main game is fine. That, on the other hand, looks sick. Controller sold separately. Speaking of Nintendo Switch, we have some more headlines for you. Nah, I missed it. I was trying to get it on time. Yeah, I, I thought this might be coming as well. One happening game. Back by popular demand, it's Kelp Dome. Dome. Now with some fresh twists, like extra grates to slip through. Oh, okay, cool. Added turf on each side for your inking pleasure. How about that? Watch out though, shooting up and down through those graded platforms can get pretty crazy. Now for something new, ah. the upper canal. In this stage, a river is running right down the middle. The key to victory? Ooh, I like that. Take into the central area and then push through the other team's base. Also, that's cool. We're introducing a new umbrella weapon. Umbrella. Tent umbrella. It's sort of like a regular umbrella. Oh. Except, whoa, that's huge. It kind of looks like a big camping tent, capable of guarding over a large area. I don't have Splatoon 2, so. Showed earlier will be available to play. What's that weapon? God damn. Even more weapons and stages for future releases, so Splatoon 2 should stay fresh for a long time. Good. Warriors from across the go. Fire Emblem series have been summoned to stop the Chaos Dragon and uncover the mystery of the oh, Shield of Flames. I love the Fire Emblem music. Everyone will face armies a thousand strong by unleashing devastating attacks. Oh. As their stories unfold, new combinations of characters will mingle and bond on the battlefield of Fire Emblem Warriors. Lissa. And now, a beloved warrior is joining the cause. It's Lin. Hailing from Fire Emblem on Game Boy Advance, Lindis of the Lorca lends us her steel. Keep your eyes on the horizon. See, Fire Emblem is another series that I really want to play. Today. If you think I can't hold my own, you're sorely mistaken. Fire Emblem Warriors launches October 20th. I want it! I want it! I want it! I want it! Oh, God damn it! A premium character card I need to get a Switch first, which is the, which is the worst part. A three CD music set. Oh! The Krom and Tiki Amiibo figures release the same day. The action uh. puzzle game that lets you snip and clip your friends is getting reams of new content on Nintendo eShop and in stores. Snipper Clips Plus, cut it out together. A new expanded version of the game that packs in all the paper antics of the original, plus more than 30 new stages. I've seen bits of this game, books, but it still looks like the weirdest thing. <laughs> oh, and get this. A new feature lets you replay all the original stages in a brand new way. Like someone had to say, yeah, let's make a game where you control paper shapes in a paper world and they do... Oh, they, they do that. It's just so weird. They play basketball. Then again, I'm not a game designer, so... This content will also be available for current owners of the original game to purchase as DLC in Nintendo eShop. You've never seen a shooter like this before. 
Change your size to change your powers in Morphe's Law, a local online team-based multiplayer shooter coming to Nintendo Switch. With teams of shape-shifting robots, this is no ordinary shooter. Wow. Getting a Morphe's body part will make it shrink and make the same body part of that shooter grow. As the size of each body part changes, <laughs> your abilities what? will change too, forcing you to change tactics as well. Example, larger legs will improve your jumping game, and your hand size changes the way you use your grappling hook. Clever players might even transform their allies on purpose. Your team's avatar is only as big as your team members combined, so keep it safe. The team with the tallest avatar wins the round. Wow, that, that actually looks really interesting. On Nintendo Switch, but that's another one of those things was like someone had to say, "Let's make a shooter where we have to where you morph your bodies." If you kept up with the news from E3 2017, yeah. then you probably heard that Rocket League, Rocket League. Yeah. Switch. This new version of the rocket-powered sports game will include Mario all character. the modes fans have come to expect, along with some new Nintendo Switch exclusives, like Mario and Luigi toppers, and the first-ever Nintendo-themed battle cards, along uh. with the new addition of local wireless multiplayer. Check out Samus' gunship. Ah, oh, that's it's cool! Followed by the Mario and Luigi NSR. You gotta put the blue Falcon in there. Boost. Put the Just blue Falcon the in there. To play as Luigi, or the orange team to play as Mario. But to rep your love for Nintendo, you'll first have to earn these sweet wheels in the game. You'll have your chance with Rocket League blue Falcon. And Nintendo Switch this holiday season. You see, it's right there. Arena of Valor is a multiplayer online battle arena game designed by the experts at Tencent Games. Explore and command a roster of over 35 fearless heroes, with roles including tanks, assassins, mages, support, warriors, and marksmen. Mm. Build the ultimate team with your friends to crush your not opponents in real-time online battles. First Blood, double Real-time strategy is not my thing. All the features MOBA fans know and love will be included. Discover and dominate all the gameplay modes, including 5v5, 3v3, 1v1, and a unique Hook Wars mode that will challenge your skills and prove your valor as a true champion. Draw first blood, carry your team to the finish line, and become a legend in the arena. Arena of Valor beta test version will be available beta for free this winter. Live another life in another world in this timeless epic coming to Nintendo Switch. Skyrim. Winner of it's more never not going to get Game ported. Year awards. Bethesda Game Studios open world adventure, The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, where you can virtually be every new console is going to get a Skyrim port. Anyway. That's just how it's going to be from now on. The ancient evil of dragons threatens the future of Skyrim. As the prophesied dragonborn, you are the only one who can stand against them. The type of hero you will become depends on the skills you choose to hone. From archery, dragons are just so awesome though. To destruction magic and more. Your choice of skill can dramatically impact your adventure. So even Dragon's if you the best. before, you can create a new character with a new path. So steal yourself like a true hero of legend. The champion's tunic, the Hylian shield, and the master sword can be acquired by tapping a compatible Legend of Zelda, Zelda character figure. Or you can always Oh, I didn't know that the Switch had a Mido functionality. Like I I thought it might, but then I heard something that suggested it didn't. Nintendo Switch November 17th in Europe and the Americas. Bethesda Softworks is bringing two iconic first-person shooters to Nintendo Switch. Id Software, the studio that pioneered the genre, is bringing the critically acclaimed Doom to your TV and anywhere you want to be. Slay I hordes of demons with devastating guns That's and single player and crush your friends in online multiplayer when Doom tears onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. I didn't Doom sneeze, but I might as well have. Mission to liberate a Nazi-controlled America. Only you have the <laughs> I look back at the screen, there's Nazi symbols. Spark the Second American Revolution. Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Why I did hear good things about Wolfenstein, though, so I might have to get it. Flip Wars. Flip Wars did I hear about this? Out a new update, and it's packing a new online battle mode, Class I'm trying to remember if I've this seen Flip Wars before. Encouraging you to try and move up to the next class. It also introduces a red hot new I don't think I did, but this looks Mac. pretty interesting, anyway. In the Red Coliseum. Panels are plagued by flames. It's like reversing that uh, that checkers style game where you gotta make all the opponents' pieces your own color. Mechanics are being added too, like spinners that flip over panels. The new update will usher in local wireless play as well, so friends can get together and play together on their own Nintendo Switch consoles. Flip Wars is available now. Oh, there you go. How about that? Will be free for owners of the game on Nintendo. We're about halfway through, I think. 
All right, game fans, it's quiz time. Recognize this arcade cabinet? It's Mario Brothers. It certainly has been a while, but finally, after you many years, in the, our in arcade headline. titles are making a return. And the first one is Mario Brothers. By sharing your Joy-Con, you can run, jump, and compete. I mean, cooperate to win. Notice the little visual detail. <laughs> Call games in a nutshell. Other arcade classics are on the way too, including versus Super Mario Brothers, versus Balloon Fight, versus Ice Climber, Ice Climbers, versus Pinball, versus Clue Clue Land, and more. These arcade Ice games versus contain other subtle Bunch you can find in their NES counterparts. See if you can spot them. Arcade Archives Mario Brothers is coming down the pipe September 27th. Real quick, some news for Zelda fans. I still need to play Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild Champions Amiibo figures will release on November 10th. They'll summon materials and weapons. I feel like the majority of this video is going to be me saying I need to play a certain game or series, which I do. They have functional purposes as well. It's Falco. We'll have more info soon. Whether you compete in a court or a ring, there's no shortage of great sports games for Nintendo Switch this year. With big gameplay and I don't want to hear about the esports. Games. Wait, it's not will have the Nintendo Switch lineup short eh. when it launches on September 15th and Nintendo eShop. Cool, Switch is getting NBA. Until October 17th. Fans of sports entertainment. Cool, Switch is getting wrestling. That WWE 2K18 is coming soon as well. EA Sports cool, Switch is getting FIFA. The most immersive, social, and authentic soccer game out there. Take the world's game on the go and play anywhere with anyone when Gabriel FIFA Jesus. launches on September 29th. Hey, the premier Pokemon fighting game brings multiplayer battle action to Nintendo. It feels weird to lump this in with basketball, Nintendo wrestling, and soccer, but right now. oh well. Try in anticipation this is joy! Oh, it's my favorite. Nintendo Switch headlines are on the way. But first, a video of our third spotlight title. A brand new RPG in development at Square Enix. It also happens to be a Nintendo Switch exclusive. Please take a look. I uh, missed it. Ooh. In the faraway land of Orstera, eight travelers venture forth. Have I seen this before? Step into their shoes. And explore the realm as you see fit. It looks familiar, but that might eight just be the style. Souls, each with a unique talent. Eight lands, eight stories to be told. Eight of everything. So tell me, friend, what path will you tread? Wow, this is really stylized. What is it? Embark on an adventure. Is this Final Fantasy? Your own. Square Enix, that doesn't mean much though. Did Square Enix do Fire Emblem? No, Project Final Fantasy. Octopath Traveler. It's not Final Fantasy though. The producers of Bravely Default at Square Enix uh, announced a new fantasy world brought Rice. to life through a mix of CG, pixel art, and visual I feel like Final, I don't know if Final Fantasy is Square Enix HD or not. I'm gonna 2D. catch some hate for that, but... HD2D. Yeah, it looks Begin stunning. Begin your journey as one of eight protagonists, each with their own origin, talents, and goals. Where will your journey begin? Who will you team up with? And where will you go next? All these decisions and more are completely up to you, the player. Each character has his or her own path action that can be used to interact with the people they encounter in a distinct way. Of course the dancer has a lore. For example, the warrior Ulbrich can challenge almost anyone to a duel. <laughs> Yeah, challenge a random townsperson, that's duel, cool. He could expose an evildoer and bring them to justice. That's cool. Or force someone in his way out of the way. On your guard. Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Primrose, on the other hand, yep. can allure a lord into following her. Of course, of course. Was it what did I say? Power, she could track down Your reputation will suffer? Back, or lure her enemies into a trap. 
She can even summon an allured character to help her in battle. Essentially, each character has their own way of achieving their objectives. The developers aim to give players the freedom to choose their own paths and immerse themselves in a deep story through true role-playing. I like this. I like this a lot. But what about combat? In this game, battles That's the thing. are fusion what about combat? Simple, pick up and play, turn-based battles, and all new mechanics. One such mechanic is the boost system, which allows you to accumulate boost points with each turn you take in battle. You can then spend them to dramatically increase the strength of your attacks and abilities, or use it to chain attacks. Try targeting an enemy cool. point to break its guard, then deliver powerful blows while it's weakened. Or, if an ally's in trouble, Use it to get them right back into fighting shape. Identifying the right time to boost may just be the key to victory. There's a deep well of strategies to draw from, and your tactical this game looks really good. Unrewarded. Later today, a demo version of Project Octopath Traveler will launch worldwide in Nintendo. Why, why am I so excited about that? Switch. That doesn't help me. I don't have a Switch. A survey will be conducted to gather your feedback, switch. so please participate if you can. And look out for an extended cut of the Working title that just debuted as well. The latest RPG from Square Enix, Project Octopath Traveler, is scheduled for a simultaneous worldwide release okay. in 2018. We hope you're looking forward to it. Octopath 8. Ah, I guess you. The full version of the trailer that kicked off that segment will be released after today's Nintendo Direct. Please check it out. I might just do that, actually. It's time for some more Nintendo uh, wait, wait, wait. Lines. Ah, I got it that time. This just in, a report written by someone named Biff? The Biff Tannen. The fighting sport arms is extending the fun... Guys, I, just, I woke up with extendable arms. What do I do? At Gamescom, the next update adds in a Lola new Pop. stage and a new fighter named Lollapop with three tricky new arms. Violet Beauregard. Fun Chuck. The Biffler. Clap back. But there's another new feature as well. Now you can remap the controls to the buttons of your choice. Feels like I should just be standard to do this that. Game's all about flexibility. The best part? This new arms update goes live shortly after this presentation. I love it how Nintendo is doing the. The goddess Rubis has spoken, and you have been chosen. Ooh. Dragon Quest Builders is destined for Nintendo Switch. I was gonna say I love it how um Nintendo are doing all their updates for free, like Splatoon and Arms. That's just nice. And they're adding content in those updates is what I meant. Like it's not just patching things. They're actually adding new things for free. It's not like like you can buy them for DLC kind of thing. No, no, no. They're updates for free. That's nice. Succeed and you And yeah, you get the free game. You get you want to get the full game at launch. But the way I see it, it's like. A separate free Not that. Mode allows you, to to your heart's <laughs> you get the game, but you just get extra stuff. And really, it doesn't take that much effort to update a game. It's not, it's, and not to make the update, but to download the update. It's not that difficult. And if you get the game later than launch, you get all the updates immediately. I completely missed the whole of that. that we ah! At E3 has some charming new tricks. I want to see this. Throw hearts and up to three enemies will become your allies. Oh God! Here, my heart. Working Take together, it. you can initiate team up attacks, like a stone drop using ESP, and many more. Die. Depending on your allies' copy abilities. You can wow. Share elemental attributes to augment copy abilities and create combinations. Like a That's actually really cool. Whether you play alone or co-op with up to three friends, it's fun to mix up your alliances and create new powers. Together, you may have a chance Wispy to Woods, of course. dark new force manipulating Dreamland. DDD! What the hell happened to you? Kirby Star Allies is coming to Nintendo Switch Spring 2018. That looks really good, actually. I like it a lot. There's a whole lot of fun in store thanks to Nintendo eShop. Dig into the underworld of the platform mining adventure, SteamWorld Dig 2, on September 21st. Golf through courses, towns, puzzles, and challenges in the sporty RPG Golf Story this year. Golf Story! This holiday, up to four players can blast them up together locally or online in 
nine parchments. Feast on combo based action. I'm sure there's other things on screen, but I have to come back to Battle golf story. Deploy units and your masterful strategies tiny in metal based tactical RPG tiny metal. Oh. Leap up walls and dodge saws in the randomly constructed side scroller Super Meat Super Boy, Boy. In 2018. Never hurts to beef up your gaming library. Ooh. The Nintendo Switch lineup is stacking up fast. Use the power of memory to restore what the world has lost in this modern take on traditional RPGs, Lost Sphere, on January 23rd, 2018. Join the uprising by fighting back as modern Sonic, classic Sonic, or any one of the many custom hero characters you can create in Sonic Forces November 7th. Jeez, Face why would you give why would you give the Sonic fan base the ability to make their own OC in game? To Nintendo Switch on November <laughs> Did they think through that at Rockstar all? Rockstar Games is bringing LA Noir to Nintendo Switch on November 14th, featuring all of wow, the stylized content, for this one. new collectibles, detective suits with special abilities, a Joy-Con mode, and new wide and over-the-shoulder camera angles, plus touchscreen controls for portable detective work. That's the last quick headline for Nintendo Switch. All right, so now we're getting Mario Odyssey. In. Oh, no. Mario Odyssey, and that's it. One last game to talk about today. I'm ready for it this time. It's Mario. Throw the hat. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I really went a lot for this one. The producer of Super Mario Odyssey for Nintendo Switch. Yeah, the same guy from before. Today we're going to recap a little of what we've already shown, but also reveal some new information okay, about good. the game as well. Because I'm really, I'm really interested in this. About Bowser trying to marry Princess Peach. <laughs> the same Mario the Captain, voice clip. His new friend from the Cap Kingdom has a mission of his own. The Cap his Kingdom. His sister Tiara. Oh. And now the hero and his hat must join forces. That's how. Okay. <laughs> somehow, Cappy can grant his wearer free control over his powers. Yes, somehow. So together with Mario, they'll travel the globe. Through the power of game design. Skills, especially Was that Mario Sunshine? Ability, which allows Mario to take control of many enemies, animals, and objects. <laughs> this is so weird. Ooh. This globetrotting adventure will take them all over the place. Is that the map? Is that the world map? Rock City in the Metro Kingdom. That's cool. Toast Arena in the Sand Kingdom. Show me the dinosaur again. Mount Volbono in the. There was a dinosaur at three. I want to see the dinosaur. Steam Gardens in the Wooded Kingdom. Bonneton in the Cap Kingdom. Fossil Falls in the Cascade Kingdom. That'd be the dinosaur one. There's a Triceratops and there. Today, for the first time, we're introducing Shiveria in the Snow Kingdom. This ice-cold realm will chill you to the core. So is this a linear platformer, or it's more in the style now, of Mario 64? take a look at Bubble Lane in the Seaside Ooh. Kingdom. It's a popular travel destination for many thanks to its gorgeous crystal Because I saw checkpoint water. flags, like the regular games. Apparently the seawater has a refreshing fizz, like it's carbon. And I don't think the Mario 64 style games have checkpoint flags. But we won't spoil them all. Of course you won't. Mario has even more kingdoms to visit, including tropical islands. <laughs> what the hell is that? To get from place to place, Mario is literally traveling in style. Aboard his cap-shaped ship, the Odyssey. It runs on power moons scattered Odyssey. across the world. You got a moon! Collecting them, you can power up the Odyssey and make it to the next kingdom. The number of power moons required to reach a destination is different for each kingdom. But as you can see in this list, there are even more power moons than that, which should keep your inner treasure hunter hungry for more. Wow! What the? I mean, How many moons are there? Are really hidden. That's not a green moon. You may need to acquire one by solving a puzzle or defeating enemies. They're hiding everywhere. So make sure to explore every corner of the world using every moon wow. at disposal. So it's neither. It's just like exploring the levels to all, find them. Something neat may happen. It may happen. Having trouble hunting down power moons? Then try talking to Takatu for hints. 
Oh, you okay, could also cool. give a few coins to the hint Tart. Or even tap Amiibo with some help from Uncle Amiibo to reveal a Power Moon's location on the map. That's cool. If you're feeling stuck, it's worth a shot. Yahoo! Globetrotting does have its benefits. You may find places to play minigames, like Koopa Free Running, or a Jump nice. Rope Challenge. Ah, that was in the trailer, yeah. You'll earn Power Moons based on your results. <laughs> and you can check out the score the to the other players the world over. Ah, oh, I like that. Also, the game world is home to a franchise of shops called Crazy Cap. There you can obtain outfits and other stuff with the coins you've collected. Then I like that! Look. Some outfits are thematically tied to the kingdom you're in, or to a game from Mario's story. <laughs> He's gonna beret! Oh, Mario, so Mario Maker! To play cool! Dress up just to suit your mood. Talk to Mario! Match your surroundings. Or just because. Tell me you can dress as Luigi. A dinosaur! Nice! Don't forget to let the Odyssey in on the action with decorative stickers and souvenirs from Crazy Cap. Ah! Please tell me you can let Mario dress as Luigi. Just just slap him in the face. Slapping Luigi right in the there face. Are just so many excuses for a quick photo op. That's where snapshot mode comes in. Simply freeze time at any moment, snap some fun photos of Mario. 3D photos. And go for a close-up. You can blur your surroundings, change color schemes. Snapchat and filters. You can even rotate the camera and nail that vertical photo for your smartphone. You could post it to social media or use it as wallpaper on your PC or smartphone. Of course many, you can. Mario games are all about making memories, so capture away. Is that a snapshot? That 2D, oh, the dinosaur, mmm. We've taken uh, great care course. in creating right. these detailed sandbox environments for you to explore, and make the most of Mario's new and familiar moves. We made sure the game is chock full of classic gameplay elements. <laughs> Don't yuck. Really? Alongside a wide world of things you've never done Was before. Was it Pauline? Even the song that's playing right now is a Mario series first, thanks to its lyrics sung by the one and only Paul. Oh, the dinosaur. I hope you're ready for more surprising new ideas. <laughs> Super Mario Odyssey, October landing on Nintendo Switch October 27th. This game looks really good, guys. These wedding style amiibo figures will be available that same day, both individually and as a set. That's like, oh. As you can see, they'll come in handy during your adventure. Take me. And all other amiibo are supported. Alongside the game, we're also releasing a special hardware bundle including the Super Mario Odyssey software and the themed Joy-Con you see here, along with a carrying case. Might just have to get that. I'll set up for that specifically. We'll continue to release more new information on the official site of Super Mario Odyssey and on Twitter as we await Mario's next great journey. That's it for me, and from today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. No problem. Thank you for broadcasting. It's the Odyssey song. And that's it! Alright, there you go! That was fun, that was a... That was a good ride. <laughs> Highlights definitely Mario, Pokemon, Apollo just did not see that coming. Oh gosh. Really excited about that. Wow. Looking forward to that. Okay. Well, that'll do it. Uh, yeah. Good Nintendo Direct. I liked it a lot. In any case, thanks for watching, guys. Um, again, if you just came here for the reaction, please subscribe. I desperately need subscribers. And just people to watch my videos in general. I'm a small channel, what do you expect me to say? Thanks a lot. Uh, my name is Alex Cuff, this has been Off The Cuff, and I'll see you next time.